Today, what we're going to be looking at is how to prepare for the upcoming mock exams in physics. I'm going to be sharing a few tips that will hopefully, hopefully help you ace those A-level exams. So let's have a look at tip number one. My first tip is probably the most important one, and that consists of solving all of the available past paper questions on the topic that can appear on the mock. Very often, the mock exam might be based on paper one, for instance, but that will, of course, depend on your teacher and the college at which you're actually studying. So I would need to go to the website of my exam board, could be AQA, could be OCR, could be at Excel, etc., and make sure that I've solved all all the relevant past paper questions in preparation for the mock exam. My next tip will be to have a look at my revision videos, which I've carefully selected and I've put in a playlist across many topics across the A-level specification. So have a look in the description where you'll be able to find an absolute ton of revision videos for A-level physics. My next tip, which is often overlooked, is to seek out the examiner's report and all of the important information that is included in the examiner's reports. So the exam boards actually publish these documents in which they give a report on all of the typical mistakes, some tips and tricks, some common misconceptions that are often found in past papers. And this is one of your tickets to an A or an A star in the upcoming exams. Don't forget that physics is an experimental science and A-level experiment or A-level experimental questions are particularly common. So have a look at my revision list on A-level experiments and on how to solve some of those extended response questions, which typically involved five or six marks questions, depending on the exam board. With the exams coming in as well, one thing that would be particularly useful would be to have a plan over what time period you are going to be covering all of the content. For instance, you have a week where you know that you're going to be revising motion and the SUVA equations, and then you can have another week in which you're going to be focusing on electrical circuits revision, etc., etc. So know what topics are going to be on the mock and then plan them within your revision. These are the exact techniques that uh, you could use to prepare for your real examination as well. Another tip which is particularly relevant this year is that you will have covered some of those topics during the period of distant learning during the pandemic. If that's the case, I would make note of which topics you've covered during the uh, virtual online lessons and hence you might be more likely to have not really understood them very well. Maybe you would have missed a crucial practical that was being done that time, but these are the topics to really, really watch out for during your preparation for the mock exams. Another tip, during the upcoming months while you guys are preparing for the exams, what I will be doing is publishing more videos of past paper question solutions. In those videos, I actually have the links to the actual questions which I'm going to be solving in the description of the video. So a really good way to prepare would be to solve the questions first and then go back and check with your video solutions on how the problems are solved. Check out the link in the description to find my videos on the past paper questions by topic. Hopefully they're useful. Finally guys, make sure to learn consistently and make sure that you are really enjoying learning and doing physics problems. They're really, really fun and I wish you guys the best of luck in any upcoming exams and as always, I will see you in the next video.